I gotta be honest with you, I've got a... Got no idea what this game is. I don't even remember getting this game. So that's, that's something. But it looks cute, maybe. And it's I can actually play it, and I can run it. So, hey, you know, I'll figure out what it is. Help me begin your story. How does it go again? I, I guess it goes this way. Oh, shit. Oh, long ago, nestled in the heart of the forest was the monster village of Omit Bo. Bo! Sorry, my dog. Go away! Sorry. You were born from slime that- Bo! Fuck off! Okay, you were born from slime that holds the memory of monsters known for... Actions and attitudes or words and thoughts? What do you want? What do you want? Actions and attitude or words and thoughts? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah! You're not awake yet, but soon your first eye... Oh, I've only got one. ...will open. Your simple dreams will give away to life itself. Your dream of fighting and eating and screaming. <laughs> Facing frightening enemies unafraid. Protecting innocent monsters from harm. Um... Yeah. Your body is turning and twisting, growing solid in the middle of a great vat of green slime. It's time to be born. Okay. Be born. You awaken in the searing season when the sun shines strongly overhead. Onward! I did put my hand out. You just you couldn't see. Your eyes open. You're a morsel. Just barely born. You float in spawning vat. In the spawning vat. Dozens of other morsels are exploring, flailing, and stealing food from each other. Um... Is this kind of like spore? I'll try and swim. Another morsel swims towards you. It opens its mouth to show a set of sharp teeth. It bites you. I swim away from toothy morsel. What? This is intolerable. Stop that biting. Yes. You pause, unable to believe that another morsel is trying to eat you. After a moment, you snap out of it and start to move again. Um. Unite other morsels to repel the attack. Yeah. We fight in numbers. You speak. Your words are simple, but some of the morsels understand you. They converge on the biter. This aggression will not stand. Your tiny slimy flotilla frightens the bad morsel away. Flotilla? Fl Hi, phone. It frightens... Uh, this is so unprofessional. It fr bleh, It retweets to the far end of the spawning vat. Um, Patrol the vat and look for more trouble. Well, that's all I could do anyways. Splash! Flutter! Splish! Squeak! This is cute. I like this. Anyways, another morsel is too weak to swim properly. It's sinking towards the bottom of the vat. Ignore it and swim on. Survival of the fittest. Um. Shit. Uh, survival of the fittest! <laughs> you paddle yourself elsewhere, looking to live your own life without thinking about the end of another's. So it goes. You've grown too big for the spawning vat. You must move on to the next stage of life and become a monsterling. Got any advice yet? You're going to get into some trouble, which is great! Exercise your bravery, cleverness, ferocity, kindness, and honesty. What kind of monster will you be? Indeed, to the brood cave! Is this just like a clicky clicky? Like a clicky clicky game? Cause that's fine if it is, but it just won't be that interesting. But, oh well, clicky clicky. Choose your adventure. Oh my god, it's a fox! A roly poly fox stumbles into the brood cave, leans against a rock, and coughs. It looks vaguely at you and the other monsterlings, showing no fear. I'm gonna talk to the fox! I wanna know what it says. The fox says, Hello, I'm a talking... <coughs> <coughs> then it drools and spits and it's really sick. Um. Um. <laughs> slaughter it! Eat it! I'll help it escape! Alive! Nyash, gash, gnash, reaches for fox. But you slap her claws away and gently lift it in your arms. You carry the fox to Elder Marinus, who promises it'll be nursed back to health. It promises, but it's totally gonna eat it. Um, I could go on another adventure. Que pasa? Que pasa? Oh, I get it! Cause, do you get it? Cause, que pasa? Bien en fallo. Bien en fallo. Buen, buenos dias. I don't know. Buenos dias! <laughs> Sorry, it's difficult. It's funny. I mean, I just, I can't, I can't concentrate on it actually being, what else? Anyways, another adventure. Um, we actually get to do stuff, or is this just, this is how it's gonna be? Because if it is, that's okay. I got seven days left, whatever that means. 
Some monsterlings build in little stone towers. Blots comes to you with a healing armload of soothing, smooth rocks. Heaping, not healing. Do you think this is enough to build a tower? I'm gonna... You know, I'm gonna give them an honest answer, you know? Because, yeah. You count them and consider the problem in your head before telling him that he is just enough. Blots beams happily and waddles off to try building a tower. It's not a pretty tower, but it's the right size. You know. Bravery is your capacity to overcome fear and intimidation. I have, like, no bravery. But I have a lot of honesty and kindness. I'm not gonna survive in this world. I need to get some bravery up in this bitch. Nash Gash buys a delicious mouse head mushroom. MINE! She plucks it from the floor, but it tumbles from her claws and bounces to a dark crevice in the wall. Do some people say crevasse? Because I say crevice, but I feel like some people have said crevasse and then I get weirded at them. Let Nash Gash win her. She's too afraid to go after the mushroom. But she's not too afraid, because look at that. She's totally beasting it. Um, I'll let her get her own dark- No, I'll get it for her, you know. Okay, how? Well, gee, I wasn't expecting that kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna crawl inside and get the mushroom, because I'm a brave soul. Yeah, I got some bravery! Shit, yeah! It's dark and you scrape your sides terribly against the rock, but you quickly recover from the mushroom and eat it for yourself. Wait, no, I wanted to give it to- Oh, okay. Que pasa? Okay. Choose your adventure. I've got five days left. Look, look, it's a sling. But there's a bravery thing. There's a question mark, question mark! Smark sits quietly by himself in the furthest, darkest corner of the cave. He slumped and deflated like a float pod, missing half of the gas inside. His eyes brim with slimy tears. I'm gonna hug him! <laughs> I got kindness! You sit down next to Smark, spread your claws, and give him a quiet hug. He sits very still, and then leans into you and returns the hug. You both sit there for a while. Oh, isn't that cute? You were halfway towards leaving, becoming an adolescent. Firm up your personality as much as you can. I feel like I need to get some cleverness up in here. Hmm. Hamrag, an adult monster, sleeps in a big pile of monsterlings. Everyone is comfortable. Comfy! Blots giggling sticks lick lick lick. Oh, fuck, how do you. I forgot how to spell that. It's been a while. Lichen? I think it's lichen. In all four of Hamrag's nostrils. Hamrak's eyes shoot open as he starts to choke. Blotz shushes you with a threatening scowl. You're not afraid of Blotz. Help Hamrag. You jump on Hamrag's head and knock out some of the lichen loose. He squeals and gasps, then remembers that he can breathe through his mouth. Crisis averted! Yay! Hamrag glowers down past his jowls, scowling as though you hadn't saved him. He roars and demands to know who plugged his nose. I'll tell the truth, bro. Blotz did it! Hamrag thinks you... Thanks. Oh, shit. Blots did it! Yay! Hamrag thinks you. Grabs Blots and sits on him. All of Blots' breath whooshes out and he can and inhale again. Hamrag stay with it. So, I killed Blots by, like... I need to get some cleverness up in here. Um, somehow, I don't know. I'm just choosing what's so good. You stumble on a rock and find a patch of purple lichen behind it. I'm pretty sure it's lichen. Anyways, your examination delight draws smark the glo- Gob claws, smark and gob claws over, but there's not really enough to share. Um, tell them how to find some. Yeah, cleverness! Anyways, you tell them to follow little damp trails left by little damp snails. They eat the lichen too, you explain. Smark and gob claws both grin. You eat the lichen. Delicious! Bien, yeah, file. Anyways, I don't actually know what that one means. I know the other two. I'm gonna do this paw print. You and Nashgash bought Bliss Tree and Smark playing a game. Nashgash says, I've got an idea. Who are Bliss Tree and Smark? Nah, cause I already know them already. So I'm like, what's what? What is it? Nashgash says, Look at the mushrooms all over the place. I hear they're tasty, and they won't miss a few if we take them. Um, what's so special about the mushrooms? Well, Jesus Christ, my grandma's calling me. Shit. Back. Um. That was just my grandma. She wanted to know if I had a ride to work. She's so nice. Anyways, Nash Gash grumbles. Why do they have to be special? Isn't being tasty enough? Why do you hate delicious things? Okay, jeez, gosh. Nash Gash says, Look at the mushrooms all over the place. I hear they're tasty, and they won't... Wait, what, you've already... <sighs> no way! You're no thief! Or I'll help Nash Gash steal the mushrooms. You know, I'll help her. 
I lost some honesty though, so that makes me kind of sad. You creep close to the game. To the game. Blistry and Smark are trying to figure out some rule about placing the mushrooms with spots on them. They don't notice you. Um, I'll take a few with Nashgash. My honesty! You and Nashgash scoop up a few mushrooms from the edge of playing area and slink away. They're pretty tasty, though a little mushy. Musty. God damn it! Look, I had so much honesty and now it's away. Oh, I have like no ferocity. What is it again? Sometimes you need to be cruel. Can you bring yourself to tear a wolf apart with your claws to show you're a monster? How about its cubs? No! I can't do that! I need to get my honesty back. I didn't click the right one though, did I? Elder Jaggery walks into a cave, into the cave, rocking from foot to foot. He howls and slams into a wall, then falls, unmoving to the floor. Monsterlings scatter away from him, his still form. I will examine him closely. You've never seen a monster look this hurt before. Uh, usually you can get smashed to a pulp and be up on your feet again by dinner time. Jaggery's body is really damaged. That's scary. Elder Jaggery walks into the cave, rocking from foot to foot. Oh wait, that's that's oh, it's the same thing. Shit. Um, someone's gotta help him. Do it. You creep over, afraid but determined, and see a human's metal knife stuck in Jaggery's back. He's leaking from the wound. You think he might die before help can get there? Um. Well, shit. If I know science, you don't pull the knife out because that's the only thing stopping the blood flow. So I'm gonna go get help. A human knife is a terrible thing, far beyond your skill. You run for assistance. Soon Marinus and the Spine Doctor have hauled Jaggery away to deal with him. You hope he survives. Okay. Is that it? Do I get to do another day? Oh my! You wake up and find that you're no longer a little monsterling. You're growing up! Wow! Elder Marinus calls the oldest monsterlings to gather in the group. You're one of the oldest ones now, so you should join them. She looks grave. Marinus shuffles down the long tunnel, turning this way and that among dozens of forking passages. Well, I'm gonna keep going, I don't got any choice. Marinus stops in a warm human chamber with a pit in the floor. She points to the pit, which seized with thick mist. I'm gonna wait for her to make me go.